Hey guys, welcome back to the new video and in this video I'm going to talk about an issue that I think a lot of you face like when you're bug hunting you do it on different kinds of platforms right like a bug crowd, hacker one and there's one more that I came across a few months ago standoff 365 so this one is actually a Russian platform now you must be thinking why am I talking about this platform because the thing is um, when you're hunting on different platforms there are targets in it that you cannot access so other people can access it from their region but you cannot access it from your region and that really decreases your chances of finding bugs and that's the issue i'm talking about like a few months ago i was looking at the platform stand up 365 and i chose a target and i thought okay let's hunt into it looks pretty good to me but when i did subdomain innovation when i tried to access those sites i couldn't because it's not accessible in my region so that's a really huge disadvantage that comes when you are bug hunting and that's why i think talking about how you can bypass this your restriction and how your workflow should be when you're hunting for sites that are out of your region or not accessible in your region is very important because if you just keep looking in the same place uh things that are accessible to you and stuff like that and there are a lot of people doing the same thing then it's really going to decrease their chances bug hunting is not just about like looking for bugs there's more into it right okay then how to solve this problem to solve this problem you can use proxy or you can use vpn so first let's talk about proxies proxy is basically a middle hop your traffic goes from your device to a proxy server and then to the target website that proxy can change the IP a site sees, but doesn't automatically mean you're private or anonymous. If someone's in the space actually tries to use a proxy seriously, the only setup they would usually consider is a self-hosted proxy on a VPS. You rent a server overseas, install something like Squid or Proxy, open the right ports, and then point your browser or specific apps to that proxy. And since proxies work at the app level, you have to test each tool separately to make sure traffic is actually going through it. But the problem is, this is where things get messy. Once you're running your own proxy, you're fully responsible for securing and maintaining it. For example, if you misconfigure TLS or ports or your server gets compromised, traffic can potentially be intercepted or altered by the man in the middle. Or if the logs are enabled by default or the machine is breached by your VPS, a proxy can end up leaking or storing sensitive traces like uh, real IPs, session cookies and auth tokens, or browsing history. Also, a self-hosted proxy server can be kind of expensive and need high maintenance. Uh, even a basic overseas VPS with static IP isn't free, usually around like $3 to $10 per month just to start. So if you need multiple IPs, it will cost more, plus ongoing work like updates, patching, monitoring, and preventing misconfigurations. Make it looks like part-time sysadmin job, which is not very friendly. And that's where VPN comes in the picture. VPN is pretty good because it creates encrypted tunnel between you and the internet. It also hides your IP address. It encrypts all the traffic. It works system-wise. Everything goes through it. It protects you on public Wi-Fi. So it's pretty harder for ISP and hackers to snoop on you. Plus, the most important part, it is really easy to set up. And that's what I'm going to show you. Okay, so now you understand that how you can solve this problem and how VPN can help you. So the VPN I'm going to introduce you in this video is XVPN, which is also the sponsor of this video. So thank you so much for sponsoring this. Now let's get into it. And by the way, this VPN company is based in Singapore and they are not part of the Five Eyes or 14 Eyes alliances. Means it offers stronger protection in terms of data security. Okay guys, so this is the VPN I'm talking about. I really like this animation. Anyways, so you can download it for Windows, for Mac OS, and many different uh, type of devices. So because I'm using Windows, you can just click on the Windows option and there you can just download VPN for your Windows PC. But the thing is, I've already done it and of course you can go premium but you can use it free as well there's a lot of service available in it free as well and if you go vpn you will just have access to more regions and multiple other features that i'll show you so yeah 
Okay, let's go over the features over here. As you can see, this option. So it says over 10,000 VPN servers worldwide, which is available in XVPN, which is crazy. Server in 80 countries for streaming, gaming, and P2P. So of course, not just about bug hunting this video. I mean, you can also use it for browsing content, for gaming, or different stuff. I don't know um, that you want to do. Cool. Now let's have a look at the actual UI okay so this is the interface of xvpn and currently it's on and connected to united states but i can just disconnect from here and choose any location that i want to if you get a free plan you will get access to 26 locations from different 15 countries which is really amazing okay now let's move on and go to settings over here i want to talk about protocols why because this is actually really important. If I click on it, you can see there are different kind of protocols available, UDP, TLS2, TLS, and if you click on view all protocols, you will get access to more. Now, why this is important? It's because you can manually choose different VPN protocols depending on what you care about, like speed, stability, or privacy. For example, if you use UDP, you will get a faster connection, lower latency, which is pretty good for streaming browsing bug hunting or general use but you can also use tcp which is kind of slower than udp but is more reliable and is better for unstable or restricted networks like a eh, portal wi-fi or corporate networks so no matter which one you pick all your traffic is routed through the vpn tunnel which helps prevent ip leaks and dns leaks while you're working or testing now let's talk about dns leaks first so so we all know what DNS is, right? It basically takes the website name and then it gives you the IP address so you can access that website in simple words. But DNS leaks happens when your traffic is going through the VPN, but your DNS requests still go to your regular ISPs, DNS servers instead of VPN DNS. So even though your IP is hidden, your ISP or network admin can still see what websites you are visiting and when you are visiting them. So what's the point of having a VPN, right? But in case of xvpn if you use the ips provided from xvpn you're not gonna get dns leaks let me show you how over here you can see i am on this website dnsleaktest.com you can visit it as well and currently i have this ip which is from denver united states now let's click on standard test and it's gonna test if there is any dns leak or not after running DNS leak test, while the VPN is connected, we can see that it only returns the VPN IP and the DNS server, and not my local ISP. This means that DNS requests are staying inside the VPN tunnel. It means no DNS leak. You can try it out yourself. Okay, now let's talk about IP leak. So your IP address is basically your device public identity, right? But an IP leak happens when the VPN is connected, but a website can still see your real IP address, which defeats the whole point of using a VPN. Okay, so this is IPv6 leak check, and here you can see there is no IPv6 address detected, which means my system is only using IPv4 through the VPN, and this is the address we are using, and it says that on the internet, we are seeing this IP because that's the IP provided by the XVPN. So since IPv6 isn't active, there is no risk of IPv6 traffic bypassing the VPN means no IP leak. It means we just passed both the test, which is pretty cool. Now let's use XVPN in action. In the start of the video, I told you uh, sometimes you're trying to access a website and it shows you that you cannot access it. So let me try visiting a website that is not accessible in my region. Okay, so this is the website that I'm trying to access, but it is not accessible. It says page not found. But now let's try to connect to the VPN. And I'm using location US. Cool, now let's reload the page. And okay, now we can access it pretty fine. As you can see, this will definitely give you an advantage if you want to test for applications that are not accessible from your location but are easily accessible from different locations. Check out XVPN from the link in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.